Hi, my name is Jay, and today I'm going to show you how to break down a fillet of hamachi for sushi and sashimi. So the first thing we want to do is we want to cut it in half. So again, we're going to keep the line on our left hand side, and we're just going to make incisions straight down. This is a collarbone, so we'll be cutting through that. Break that skin real good, and right through that bone. So working with the belly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the collarbone off, and just like every other fish, we're gonna find the pectoral fin, we're gonna find the little notch behind it, and there's a little bit of cartilage, you're gonna right, right behind that. Take the point of your knife in, and follow it up and around, Again, you start there and come around, following the bone all the way around, and cutting the collarbone off. This is one caudal fin on the bottom. We're going to take that guy off too. Just cut it straight off. Now we're going to take the bones off. Again, from the um, furthest away from the head, a couple ribs at a time. These last ribs, I'm actually going to cut up this way and back around. Okay. Again, we have that bloodline right here and uh, the set of bones that run down the middle. So we're going to cut straight down the middle. Again, with that straight line on your left side. Side. Again, with the line still on our left side, we're going to separate the, sash the sashimi section from the toro section or the, fa the fatty section. So again, I'm going to pick about how big I want that to be, it's about three fingers. Find my mark, make a parallel line, cut straight down. Now with this fatty section, there is a bone that, right here that needs to come out before we do anything else. Take that right out. So I'm going to go ahead and take the skin off. Again, we're going to start with 90 degrees. I'm going to take this meat off right here. And again, we start with wiggling our knife. Once the knife catches with the towel, grabbing the skin, we're going to wiggle the skin and then push. If you do it right, it should all be white. So we're going to do the same thing with this sashimi section. Wiggle the knife, once it catches, wiggle the skin, and just push. Use any scales, clean it up with your knife. So I'll let those sit there for a minute, I'm going to take care of this last section. So again, we had the collarbone here. The collarbone still extends into the top one, so we need to take that off first. I'm going to take about that much off. And save that for rolls. And again, we need to take some of the, uh, the red meat off here. So line on the left side, and we're just going to cut that off. Get all that blood line off. 
okay? I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. Any extra um, sinew or so on and so forth, cut that off first. And then to make this the appropriate size, we're gonna take the top off first. Again, we call that the temp off. I'm gonna leave the left side, it's gonna be the flat side so you can see it as you cut, so you can make that flat line. Again, with the pan handle grip on your knife, we're gonna pull straight back. So I'm gonna go about, again, I'm gonna go about a centimeter deep. Let's pull straight back. We have our tempo piece. And then with this bottom loin, let's go ahead and take the skin off. Again, 90 degrees. Out. Saw in motion. And then wiggle. With the towel. I'm going to clean up this side just a little bit. A little extra layer of fat on this back side that we need to take off. And there we have our four pieces. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the vanity line. It's kind of a pretty cut. Take a, uh, away some of the bloodline or the chi eye. Make it look nice. At the same time, we get rid of some of that really irony flavored uh, fish. So again, we're going to make a slight incision from top to bottom, um, about two or three millimeters deep. From there, I'm gonna go flat, again, with the butt of my knife in the middle of the palm of my hand. It's gonna cut out. And you kinda of keep on cutting until you see the, the pink flesh. There's more chi eye near the back of the fish than there is near the head. Now, traditionally in Japan, they eat the chi, but they're also more accustomed to the flavor. Not as much here. So there you go, we have that one side cleaned up. A little bit of red is okay. We're gonna do the same thing here. Again, you see how deep that red is right here, so we're gonna have to take all that off. So this is gonna be a little bit deeper, probably like five millimeters. Again, same cut. So there you have it, you have the top loin, you have the bottom loin, and these are both ready. This one would be used for sushi primarily, and this one would be used for sashimi primarily.